In April 1861, Richard Jordan Gatling watched hundreds of Union soldiers march through Indianapolis, ready to ride the rails to the front. In the opposite direction came a never-ending stream of badly wounded men, to say nothing of those who lost their lives. Gatling set about inventing a labor-saving device for warfare he hoped would minimize the number of men needed to fight a war, and thus minimize the number of men exposed to its horrors. A destructive weapon meant for good. Working throughout the summer of 1861, Gatling developed the invention that would carry his name though history. The Gatling gun, a weapon featuring a barrel that was 2.21 feet long and weighed a total of 170 pounds. The Gatling is the most famous of late 19th century's manual machine guns and paved a way for the modern machine guns we recognize today. Each barrel fired with one turn of the crank, and the weapon's rate of fire was limited only by the speed at which the gunner could crank it. Early models fired up to 200 rounds per minute, this while an enemy soldier in the line of fire took the same amount of time to charge and fire once. Gatling earned his first patent in November 1862 for the improvement in revolving battery guns, his idea for reducing the number of men needed to fight the American Civil War. In hindsight, we know how flawed this logic proved to be, as the Gatling gun and later machine guns caused untold death and destruction. At the time, Gatling had a difficult path even getting his weapon into the war. While the new weapon was promising, the US Army's reluctance to embrace the machine gun meant Gatling was ignored, at least at first. The US Army made its first order for 51-inch and 50-caliber Gatling guns in 1866, right after war's end, and Gatling approached Colt to manufacture them. Following tests at Fort Monroe, the U.S. Army used the Gatling extensively throughout the 1870s during its campaigns against Native American tribes in the West. In Europe Russia became the first country to buy Gatling guns directly from Colt, while the British W.G. Armstrong & Company became one of the first European manufacturers to purchase a license to build and sell the new weapons. The first British use of the Gatling gun came in 1879 during the Zulu War. Despite American forces using the weapon into the 1890s, the Gatling gun fast became obsolete. The culprit in its quick death was Hiram Maxim's new automatic machine gun, introduced in 1886. The weapon would come to define early 20th century warfare. Maxim's gun like the Gatling gun was hand-operated, too, but took much less work to fire. Instead of turning a crank, the Maxim machine gun was recoil-operated, using the recoil energy created when the weapon was fired to cycle the action. All the user needed to do was keep their finger on the trigger. Feeding from a cloth belt, the Maxim could fire up to 600 rounds per minute. Gatling tried several times to revive his design after he saw market share slipping away. In 1893 he patented a Gatling powered by an electric motor. In 1895, he tried to create a truly automatic gas-operated Gatling gun. These designs proved to be too complex or cumbersome, losing the simple practicality that made the original Gatling so good. In 1911, the U.S. Army declared all its remaining Gatling guns obsolete and began a process of rearming with automatic machine guns. Gatling himself never confined his life's work to firearms design. The inventor patented a successful seed planter and wheat drill in 1855. He later patented designs for flushing toilets, a device to control wagon reins, and a steam plow. He died in February 1903 at the age of 84. More than 100 years later, the Gatling gun is one of a rare few weapons that are iconic and instantly recognizable. Today, Gatling's design lives on in the form of electrically powered M134 minigun and fearsome auto cannons like the GAU-8 used in the USAF A10. There's even a helicopter-mounted version of the Gatling gun called the Vulcan minigun, which is also referred to as Puff, the Magic Dragon, because it produces flames and smoke while firing. The Vulcan minigun is able to fire 6,000 rounds per minute, and the 20mm Vulcan, the larger version of the mini, is used against other aircraft. Even now, in the 21st century, the Gatling gun is easily distinguished from other classic weapons, thanks to its distinctive design.